right, okay. Welcome to this new room you haven't seen before. I don't think. I mean, maybe once or twice, but this is my office, aka my makeup room, aka the guest room, aka my exercise room. You know, you gotta make rooms versatile if you're living in Toronto. Hello friend, how is it going? Hope you are well, hope you're doing better than me. Actually, I'm doing pretty good today, but I wasn't doing so good a few days ago. To those of you who follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have been suffering with a crazy migraine, like a migraine that lasted three days. It was the worst I've ever experienced. I couldn't walk some of the times, like I was wobbly, I could barely, like, I was nauseous, I had a bucket beside my bed, like, a headache. And part of that repercussion was I spent a lot of time in bed, literally doing nothing. I started feeling really guilty about just sitting there in bed doing nothing, and then I thought, I'm sitting here doing nothing because I was trying to get less sleep and be more productive, and now it's like, gotcha, shouldn't have done that. Gotcha. I have been one of those people that have always advocated get enough sleep. Like for me, eight hours is perfect. I always feel ample productivity. Obviously we get fed things like, you know, sleep four or five hours and get ahead of the game. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for a lot of people. So I figured I'd come on here and talk to you a little bit about some of the people who don't believe in that and kind of break the stigma of that, especially like in the entrepreneurship world and like all the hustle porn that I see, especially on LinkedIn. It's like balance, balance your life. Like you need sleep to be able to make really big decisions really fast. And if you're sleep deprived, I can't even talk, getting heated, let's get into it. So I feel like I always kind of knew this, but I did go to the interwebs and double checked what were some of the positive benefits of when you get a really good sleep. And here's what they said. They said you have faster reaction times, better judgment and decision-making skills, improved memory, smoother creativity flow, easier problem-solving skills, fewer errors and more accuracy, and a lower risk of burnout, which we are talking about a lot, especially in kind of like the internet world, because when do you ever know when to stop? There's no time, there's no nine to five. You could literally just keep going and going and going, and that's not healthy. So apparently the average North American gets about 6.8 hours of sleep. However, there's a lot of brilliant people with brilliant minds that don't agree with that, that think that actually sleeping a lot more is better. For example, Albert Einstein, he slept 10 hours a night. Oprah Winfrey, she sleeps eight hours a night. Bill Gates gets seven hours, Warren Buffett gets eight hours, Ellen DeGeneres gets eight hours, Jeff Bezos gets seven hours. It's all a great deal of sleep. So all I wanted to do was come on here, let you know how terrible my migraine was, all because I had anxiety before I had to go and do something the next morning so I didn't sleep very well. And then that was part of why I ended up getting this migraine, which ended up making me sleep for three days, feeling really unproductive, but if I would have just got enough sleep in the first place, I could have avoided it. And now I'm just trying to make myself feel better by doing this research. So I hope that this helped. Um, I hope that this is making you feel a little bit more ease when it comes to resting, especially in quarantine. You know, there is a lot of posts out there being like, what are you doing to come out of quarantine better? And it's like, yeah, cool but maybe like sleep and balance yourself and get inspired by things that don't seem like work because consequently it may actually result in better, more creative ideas and helping your work thrive in the long run. Anyways, that was just my little Rachel Ramble rant of the day. Hope that you're keeping well, you're safe, you're healthy, and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video.